Anyway, we got it. We got these two playing up. Uh, Swag Incarnate, L Louis. It's Louis Jesus. <laughs> Versus Ray Luno. There it is. In with Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Yeah. Some Bayonetta's popping off recently. At uh, Bay 100, there was a Bayonetta that um, got into, uh, I believe it was seventh place overall, uh, really? only losing to Zamba, uh, and Zamba and Maverick Hunter. Man, I, I don't remember the name offhand, but there's been some Bayonetta pop-offs as of recently in this week. But, of course, a very punishing character to play because of just how forced you are to, to hit these combos and have this long string of advantage and long string of hits overall. Miss that and things fall apart quickly. Yeah, definitely something that you kind of have to have practice in uh, is this long-form combo game. Yeah. Well, it's not not even just combos with like strings as well to in order to like under ooh yeah and the hit extension off the ball trying to get it what weighs one of those premier starters with an aerial afterburner kick but there's down tilt into forward air trying to chase good di on the part of of Louis but he's he's behind the eight ball here thankfully that deep breathing is keeping him from taking an extreme amount of damage and the di is always down and away allowed to keep the leg allowing to keep him out of the combo though he is off stage but that's fine if you're we fit mm -hmm. yeah certainly not uncomfortable oh look at for the uh the no tech read i think that is yeah, if you hit no tech and neutral tech, but there is the witch time on the volleyball and just enough spacing to get that tipper on the forward smash. 70% isn't much. Bayonetta can rack up damage extraordinarily quickly, assuming, again, you're hitting those combos. And Ray should have a sense that uh, Louis has been frequently trying to DI down and away. Oh, it's looking for the up air chains instead. Ooh, okay. Couple and reads the, uh, the reversal sun salutation, too which definitely would have put Ray Luno in a bad situation. Wow, the, wait, the toss of the Sun Salutation shifted his hurt box down and out of the Witch Twist. Wee Fit has just a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of that privilege, especially given the crouch and the crawl on, on deck mm -hmm. as well. And Bayonetta can have a, tr a tough time reliably hitting short characters. Down tilt is fine, but very, very stubby. Yeah, that time though, uh, Louis not able to get away from the instant ADK. But the forward tilt going to be taking Ray Luno's second stop. Did the dive kick, missing the forward air afterward, but still trying to keep up the pressure into that witch time. But Louis was patient, able to man the the scrap into the 64. Okay. Bats within saving a life, but can it save this game for Ray Luna? Who's I mean, Louis yet again looking for an up smash on it. Ray Luna, getting a, uh, getting impatient or getting a little bit flustered. They said down tilt, missing the up tilt. Wow. That was non deep breathing forward tilt as well. Yeah. I think maybe after whipping the uh, after whipping the up tilt, maybe Ray Luna was trying to walk away from the situation, but Yeah, this is super tough, right? Because we have here, like it's down tilt into uh, read the air dodge and change up. But what was so good about this sequence in term uh, for uh, for Louie is the fact that they changed up what they went for at the very end. Like we're gonna, you see the air dodge, when they drifted, they drifted around and then back. Most of the time when they've been di combos, they be behind down and out in order to just try and get off stage. That little cross up allowed them to net a forward tilt and while there was no red sparks and it theoretically shouldn't have killed, it's still a punish and it's still a mix up that in disadvantage that Lily showed off right at the very end. Yeah. Yeah, still showing off the uh, the adaptation and the uh, the conditioning as well. Speaking of drift, Ray Luno just showing off a little bit too much drift in his own. As you, oh, he had enough resources. Very well, very well done from Ray Luno from uh, from an offensive standpoint. But they're just drifting a little bit too far in and out. Not quite as confident in their hit confirms. And Weefit is a hard character to hit sometimes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ray Luna's uh, been showing off that triple jump uh, quite a bit lately, or in this uh, in game one especially. Uh, but that time, Louis was ready for it, especially with the timing. I like that Ray Luno has been go uh, has been going for a lot of up air extensions, whether it be front or back hit. It can be almost akin to Falcon up air, but you get more reliable strings into uh, into more of your finishing aerials, whether it be forward air or back air, depending on how you play it. But ooh, that was such a good delay on neutral air, trying to get uh, Louis trying to get some maximal punishes, especially with the reverse the reverse hit of these forward airs and up uh, forward tilts as well. 
Okay. I like using the back air right there. Down air, unfortunately, sending Louis the other way. Definitely not what Ray Luna wanted. Also, definitely didn't want to be sniped by a soccer ball like that. Yeah, not ideal. Definitely wouldn't recommend. But there's a sour spot back air trying to find the bullet arts. Ray Luna, it's, it's always it comes down to this for Bayonetta so many times. Like, yeah, I can get damage. I can start putting together some, uh, some pretty complex advantage states for both sides. But then I can't kill you till 180. So here we are playing that game. Not able to find a finisher okay. there, but does find the witch time. Yeah. And in which time you're guaranteeing the first hit of up tilt, but not the second, which perfectly combos into an up smash. But I mean, I mean Louis Louis yeah. still has two stocks on deck right now. Ray Luno is sitting on his potential last of winners side and 78%. It's a grab and looking for an up tilt on the platform. Finds the second one as well. Trying to check out for more, going for the dash grab, but Louis playing that offstage game. Oh, doesn't go for the, tries to delay the second witch twist and misses oh, the back barely. air. For dash attack on the neutral getup, but uh, Louis Swag Incarnate over here is certainly trying to you know, live up to his name, throwing, shooting the ball out, but that's an ABK missing the landing fair and the stagger pressure from Louis keeps them safe. Wow, and the movement too. Oh, this battlefield platform is just Proving so good. These charge store cancels are allowing so much mix up on the part of Louis. Oh. I respect it, yeah. right? Like you're yeah. trying, you get the swaggy reversal, which twisted it down air, but it would have been cool. It, it would have been a way to end the game on your terms, and I respect right. that. Ooh, Kirby music. Yeah. Like, uh, there were so many good ideas, I feel like it came out from Ray Luna. Like, it, trying to cover with down air on the, some of the high recoveries like we saw there. Uh, trying to set up for uh, set up for longer combos with dive kick as well. And there's there was moments of, and flashes of the brilliance that Bayonetta can have. Mm -hmm. But also, Bayonetta's not playing this game on easy mode. She's, <laughs> no. it's, this is Bayonetta 2 on, like, you're trying to pure platinum Bayonetta 2 on hard. And that's a lot more difficult and it's a lot more swingy by nature because you either hit your combos or you don't and mm -hmm. Louis was doing as we saw in game one Louis doing such a great job of mixing up DI and just natively playing hard to hit until the very end where he started to turn up the advantage and turn up some of his movement as well with runoff cance uh, runoff sun canceling the sun salutation on the ground in order to find new more grabs and extend that advantage while also in deep breathing like that's, yeah and I mean that's, that's like one of the biggest weaknesses of Bayonetta is when you take away Bayonetta's ability to like really get as much as she can out of those stray hits. Like when Bayonetta's been reduced to just nickel and diming, then shout it's a to bad SBT. time. Let's go, bro. Yeah, shout out. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the sub, and you can sub too because oh boy, we've got.